guys, Unity Tech here. Today I have an unboxing for you of the Spec See-Through. Uh, it is a a um, case for the MacBook Pro, as you can see right there. So let's get into it. And this case also comes. I actually hesitated a lot because you have the choice between the spec see-through, which is a, just a uh, normal plastic feel with scratches, or the spec see-through satin, which has a, like its name says, a satiny filling to it, but you don't get scratches, but you get smudges. The only problem is, I didn't mind the smudges, I would have preferred the smudges compared to the to the um, scratches, but I preferred having a clear case like this one right there. The satin you only get to pick between, um, I think there is purple, black, red, and yellow. So, um, and I preferred to get just a plain clear case so I can still see the nice color of the MacBook. So this one's for the 15 inch MacBook Pro unibody. Hard shell. And, uh, Gives you some instructions at the back right there on how to put it on. So we'll keep these to the side. Might need it. So here's the actual case. Don't wanna you gotta be careful so I don't scratch it up. In this case, from all the other reviews I've seen of this case, it doesn't seem to heat up your MacBook Pro more than without it. So, it actually has a rail here, but the only openings actually, you can see there on the, the right, the square there. They've made the whole rail there, but it's actually not a not an opened rail. You can't, the rubber feet there, so it protects your rubber feet on the MacBook Pro. So let's open it up. I don't know if you can see that. Well, we have the little rubber feet there, so it elevates it a bit above the MacBook. And there it says spec. So actually, you can't feel it on the outside; you can only feel it, feel it on the inside. So that's the top. Plastic box there. This out. The bottom piece. And this piece you actually have to be very careful. It's really a piece where the disk drive is. It's very fragile. And inside this you get the instructions and a nice orange cloth. A lot of That's the only thing in there. So you can get a nice cloth spec right there. This to the side. So I'm actually going to use this to wipe off when I unplug my MacBook. That was it. So you have to take all the dust. I believe you have to start with the bottom piece first so uh, you just take any dust that might be in here so it doesn't scratch the MacBook while it's in there okay that looks good now the MacBook There we go. So let's see. That goes. Can see that yet? Let me push it back a little. Bit. So that goes in this way. Let 
I think it's pretty straightforward. It's on there. Yep. I believe it is. You just push in the corners. A little click there. So here we go. And then the top bit. You just plug the MacBook again. And the case. There we go, and the top bit, actually I can already see a scratch right there, that it does, yeah it is already scratched, so it's the kind of product that actually scratches fairly easily. Okay, that looks good, and the spec logo at the front. I believe you have to open it. Put it in there. Put it to the side. And there we go. Wait, I think I put it. Did I? Yes, I did put it the wrong way. Yeah. Let's just open it again. Be careful and don't scratch the MacBook. There it goes. Turn it around. That's why you have to read the instructions. <laughs> Flap it around. Alright. Looks good. They have the little clips here, here, and here. Well, it looks pretty good. Definitely protects your MacBook from any scratches, which is the main point of this case. It doesn't really matter. Well, it kind of matters, but it doesn't really matter as much. If the, the case scratches, because you can always buy a new one, where if you scratch your MacBook, you can't really buy a new one. They still have accessibility to the battery indicator, all your ports, obviously. The back hinge is open, and this drive in the Kensington lock actually is not aligned perfectly. I see you there. Might not make a big deal, but uh, I don't know if they've changed it in any MacBooks, but there it's slightly off. So there you go, guys. It doesn't add much weight. Pretty good. Does actually hurt. Yeah, not really. Maybe in time, with the extra weight on the screen, it actually closes the screen once you get about here. It just closes automatically. But that's not a big deal. The main thing is to protect your MacBook from scratches, and that's what it does. So there you go. That was the spec see-through. You also get various colors in this. You get blue, uh, red, clear like mine, and other various colors. You can go check it, check it out on the, the spec website. Um, so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.